Oh, shit. So, found the mystery decorations? No, no. No decorations. Is everything okay? I found something. Ah, there it is. Found anything? I can't hear that sound anymore. It's easy to freak out when you're on your own up there. Maybe it's not me. It's this hotel. I... I didn't hear you. You know, for a second it was nice to imagine that the past could come back like that. We always had a party on December 23rd. Maybe you heard about it? It's pretty well known in the county. <laughs> Sounds amazing. You should have seen the ballroom back then. I can almost picture it. The last time Rachel's family was there, Reverend Foster wasn't as sullen as usual. And your parents? Hmm. My mother had eyes only for Leonard. I cannot and move. He, I saw he wouldn't stop staring at that girl. Rachel. She talked and moved with the grace and confidence of an adult. She wore a dress with a bow on her back. She was so beautiful. Perfect. Fuck. It was the beginning of the end and we were breaking out the champagne. Hmm. Nikki, I... Sorry, I'm <laughs> coming a freaking nostalgic up here. <laughs> nostalgic? Well, I, I can't hear that sound anymore. It's gone. I'm gonna look around again and then I'm going to bed. Be careful. They should be fine. Now that the sound is gone and I finally figure out where the sound was coming from. Yeah, it's not just it's not picking up anything anymore. Oh shit. Okay, they ate. <laughs> uh sorry, what? Wait, what? Where am I? Do I still have my flashlight? No, I have absolutely nothing. Well, the only place that I can go is down. Where's the door that goes down? There. Okay, that's... that's creeping me out. Where does this lead? Oh, look at that. Uh, I don't know how you call this game in English. Oh, how do you call that? I, I don't care. It's like the kid game. Okay, it's fine. Maybe I should run. I think this is a dream, right? Yeah, this is a dream. A weird fucked up dream. This has to be a dream. Oh my. It leads to the hotel. And all the doors that I left open are still open. It's the laundry. Yeah, the boiling room. Um... Is this a dream? I'm starting to think that it's not a dream. If it wasn't a dream, I should have called... I should have called Irving by now, shouldn't I? Were you always here? Distribute one's body weight over the surface. Okay, it's just a shoe thing. Um... Excuse me? How did I end up in a church? And then I'm back here with no explanation at all. And with none of my stuff. Fine. Should I have looked more into that? 
I'm going to my room, see what happens. Um, Irvin? Hello? Okay, it's okay. I'm not, I'm not scared at all. That's my stuff. Irving? Merry Christmas, Nikki. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it's a little late for holiday greetings, but I expected that. What? Well, I, I thought you were calling to... Hey, is everything okay? Yes. I mean, I, I don't think so. No. What happened? I think... I sleepwalked. Like in the old Laurel and Hardy movies? I'm serious. I, I woke up in church, standing in front of the lectern. Wow. Does that happen a lot? No! <laughs> uh, one doesn't just become a sleepwalker from one day to the next. It used to happen when I lived here. One time in February, I ended up outside. But no parent leaves the doors unlocked if their kid sleepwalks. I never told anyone. Um, sleepwalking episodes are common in children. That's not the point. I forgot all about it. Then I come back here and it happens again. If I ended up in that church, maybe there's a reason. Sometimes following your instinct is the best thing. I'll do that. Yeah. I'll do that. Oh, uh... Irving? Yeah? Merry Christmas. I like Nikki. I like that you call me Nikki. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Nikki. Oh, look at that. Uh, no, wait. I just said. Oh, God, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, why am I stuck? Okay, okay, I'm getting unstuck. Uh, now it's better. Yes. What was I saying? Uh, yes, I said before that I don't trust Irving. And now suddenly I am trying to trust Irving because he's kind of cute with her. I had the window. I wanted to report it. Irving, there's something about Irving? my window. Are you still awake? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I thought you'd gone back to sleep. No, don't worry. Um, it's, it's good to know that I'm not good with words. I mean, with people. I feel like I don't thank you enough. I... I really want to be there. For you. And, and it would be interesting, nice, I, I don't know, to, to meet, maybe? If yes. I ever get out of here. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it would be interesting, Irving from FEMA. Oh, uh, uh cool, yeah. Uh, what would you like to do? Um, a day at the lake? I think I caught a glimpse of Hauser Lake yesterday. Uh, that would be nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would be nice. So, I'll organize it. Yes, Aww. sure, yeah. Cool. I'll go. Uh, yeah, me too. As I was saying, don't trust Irving. I don't trust her. <laughs> I trust Irving. I like him. He's nice and cute. Ooh, a book. The Power of Carnival. I like that mug. That's so cool. Anyway, I got my stuff back. And I woke up at that church, so... Should I go back there? Because if I... I guess I have to. So yeah, do you remember how I said that I am terrible at finding my way to places? Yeah. I don't know if I can find my way to the church. Uh, hi. Uh, I was thinking, there really could be a repressed reason as to why you ended up there. Let's rule all divine calling then. So you've come to the conclusion that I'm not crazy? Never thought that. Well, at least not in this case. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> hey, language sister Nicole. All right, all right. So, if I think about the church, mm -hmm. I think about my mother. 
She often helped Reverend Foster. She decorated for holidays, did fundraising, and put up booths to involve the whole community in parish activities, you know, that kind of stuff. I know what you mean. I think she found gratification in doing that, something she didn't get elsewhere, including the hotel. When we moved to Portland, she quit. Fundraising? God. Hmm. I gather you didn't exactly have a high opinion of your mother when you were a kid. Well, she was really busy with the hotel. I was always running after Leonard. He was much more fun than she was, no doubt about it. He was a philosopher capable of calculating the motion of celestial bodies while taking apart and refitting a motorcycle in less than half an hour. Okay. What about her? <laughs> in the same half hour, she could have audited a business balance sheet. There you go. Ah, a businesswoman. Hmm, no. What I understood later, living in such proximity to her, is that Mom loved feeling needed. A religious community like ours makes you feel needed, without a doubt. I suppose. Okay, so that's that was the thing. I think I might I might need that for the church. I mean. Okay, I have I, I don't know what to comment about it. I am scared. Okay, there it is, the lectern. Nikki? When there was a party, my mother always got out the usual streamers and decorations and stuff. She raced in and out of the church, but I never discovered where she kept all those things. Never asked? Oh, a million times. She didn't want to answer. She said they were in a safe place. A real mystery. <laughs> what kind of decorations could they have possibly been? Nothing explosive. It's just that I had the bad habit of sneaking all over the place and forgetting what time it was. <laughs> okay. There was that huge lady, the uh, assistant cook, Mrs. Bryce. She used to get so mad. <laughs> <laughs> A judicious girl. They promised to reveal the secret storeroom when I got older, but I must have forgotten. The mystery of the secret storeroom. Ooh, sounds good. The riddle! What are you what talking are you about? Leonard was never good at keeping secrets, but he taught me a riddle to get there. Can you remember it? <laughs> Incredible. Yes. Oh, something like, down the stairs, watch your step, don't fall apart or it's your end, round a corner, turn around, there's your way in front of you, all that's closed can be open to if you see beyond its looks but how can i remember it how it's i i wow a total mystery want to play uh, i yes i need to think about it i have no idea what it means i'll i'll call you if anything comes to mind well, for me, it sounds like he just literally just gave you directions. Like, follow left, follow right, go downstairs, etc, etc. What'd you find? The paintings of the saints. I was convinced Leonard had gotten rid of them. Why? He liked saying that it was more likely to find God in a supernova than in a church. I don't see what he had in common with the Reverend Solomon Foster. They mostly talked for long stretches in between chess moves up in the attic. United by pawns and bishops, but hmm. divided by the saints. <laughs> divided by everything else, I'd say. Who would have thought? Why can I use the organ? Do you play? You want to play the organ in a church in the middle of the night? Really? <laughs> hey, what are you doing there? Dunno, I think you stayed on the line. Didn't notice. To horror? You think it's to horror? The church, the organ, the notes reverberating in the dark? It's been years since anyone played it. <sighs> My mother's heart would break to see it like this. She adored it. Uh, you should take it with you. To play it. In Portland. I'll spare you. You're better <laughs> off listening to a cat in heat than my <laughs> scales. Well, you can always pick it up again. 
Even if I don't think it's crucial. I mean, playing the organ. <laughs> yeah, right. Tell that to my mom. Essential Wait. part of a woman's education, I must admit. Oh, poor mom. She had a daughter that would rather dig for gold at Hunter's Gudge till the cows came home. I can totally picture you. Uh-huh. Then, there was Rachel, who reminded me how useless I was in music. Look how good Rachel is. Look how she puts her mind to it. She doesn't know how to read, but she's got a real ear for it. While I was considered the illiterate artist in the house. If Rachel had been around, she would have improvised Beethoven's Ninth. Was well, she so perfect? Yes. I'm only just now realizing how jealous I was. Oh, you Keep do sound working. jealous. <laughs> I didn't even realize that you were sounding jealous, Rachel. Uh, Nicole. Wait, how many sleeping bags is here? Someone broke into the church. Some fucking screwed up camper. Well, your father left it open for Mountain Wonders. God damn sons of... Oh, I'll have to clean up this mess before Jenkins shows up. Yeah, keep an eye out. Normally, no one's around in this weather, but you never know. Oh, okay, okay. But how, did, how are you so sure? Mm. Practicing for the church choir now? Ah, I know this tune. The souls that come out of their graves. It's from the book of Revelation. Can I ask you about your mysterious father who you only sort of mention? My he did? father was nothing like Leonard. Well, I don't know what happened between you, but if you want to talk about it, I... I... I will. But not now. It's, um... It's complicated. Yeah. I get that. Believe me, I do. Thanks. Okay. There's only one thing I want to see on this one. On this one. Ah, I think it's Latin. Anyway, there's anything else in this church that I didn't see before. Yeah, the bottle. Cannot really open that door. I just think that the sound of this lantern is annoying. Yeah, the sleeping bag. Alright. Oh, I can see the rest of the hotel from here. I keep having the feeling that something is going to jump on me, but at the same time, I think this is not the type of horror that this game has. And that is even worse. Okay, I think I saw everything on this church, so... Uh, where's the, the way out? I think it's even worse because it keeps giving you the sensation of like the jump scares coming, the jump scares coming, and it never comes. It never does. And you're just there waiting for it. And this is even worse. Alright. Wait, what? A butterfly? So why there's a plate here? Oh shit. Oh shit. Why I cannot read that? Okay, I do not like this. I really don't like this. Someone was here. It's the achievement. Oh, 
god, retard. Oh no. Oh shit. So, found the mystery decorations? No, no. No decorations. Is everything okay? I found something. What? I... It's like someone built some kind of bedroom. Irving, you there? Uh, uh, of course, yeah. Uh, what bedroom? T tell me what you see. Okay. A lot of things. I... Uh, there's some windows. Drawn on the walls. Books. Sheet music. A pink bed. It's... Like a kid's room. No way. No one will live This place down doesn't here. make sense. No one would live down here. Nicole, Nikki, I think you should get out of there now. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There's got to be an explanation. Okay, that's it. Uh, now I'm calling the head office in Billings. I'm telling them it's a code red emergency, so they'll have to... Jesus Christ, Irving. What? This is all Rachel's stuff. Understand? It's... Her room, a, a, a replica. Uh, you don't know that. Y you can't know what her room looked like. Everything here reminds me of her. Let me look around. I'm sure I'll find an explanation. But my other hand's on the red phone. Keep it there, but don't make the call. I need to figure out what's going on here. Oh, I'm going to report everything first, and then I'm going to get the key and get the other things. Because the last time that I did that stuff first, I could not report anything, so... Hey, can I make that call now? No. You hear the sound? Come on! Listen! Hear it now? Um... What is it? It sounds like some kind of mechanism. I'm in front of an air vent that could be connected to the top floor. Leonard had a grandfather clock up in the attic. You can't hear things from a room that's so far away. Can too. I used to lurk in front of vents like this to spy on guests in their rooms. You're trying to tell me something. The attic is where Leonard gave Rachel speech therapy sessions. Maybe you could hear what was going on up there from here. That doesn't help. Listen, I need to get into the attic. I need to figure out if a clock like that could still be working. Maybe there's someone who still takes care of it. Nicole, please. I'm hanging up. Call you later. Just a second, just a second. I'm going to call you in like three seconds, Irvin. Or maybe less. Just give me... Give me a moment. What is this? Did you get out of there? Oh, I know what this is. You know by any chance if Rachel wore a retainer? Uh, maybe? Uh, there was an article saying they hadn't found it at the site of the suicide. I remember. She always made a horrible noise when she clipped it onto her palate with her tongue. What does Rachel's retainer have to do with anything? I found a box. It could be hers. Why should someone keep a ten-year-old retainer? Maybe they're not just keeping it. Maybe they're using it. The box is empty. No way. I, I can't... Let me go on. Is there anything else that I can report before I start to pick up that key? It's a toy. Okay. Alright, alright. Let's just pick up the key. And there's this paper, but I cannot read it. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. We have to call someone. You have to get out of there right now. No. I found a key. It's from my old music box. The one in Leonard's room. I know where that I'm is. I'm having a hard time following it. If everything in here is Rachel's, then why is my music box's key here? I don't know and I don't want to know. Take what I think someone could have been in your room. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. How can you be so calm? If someone was in there, he's not here now. I need to grab the chance to figure out what the hell is going on, or went on, here. Puzzle cube. Books. Okay, these are real. Yes. Nicole, listen. I already know what you're gonna say, but please trust me. 
Get out of there. No. No way. You do realize you found the replica of a dead girl's bedroom. This is sick. This is a... a the a... more things get freaky, bizarre, and painful, the more I need to figure out why. Why all of this... We'll figure it out with the sheriff. Once you're out of there, into a safe hotel room in town. Please, just... Listen. A bunch of strange things happened since I got here. Think about it. Phone calls on a deadline. Old lipsticks that don't go bad. Leonard's notes where he says he saw a girl that's supposedly been dead for ten years, and now this! All good reasons to get out of there. We both agree that saving your skin is top priority, right? I've looked over every inch of this place, and there's no one. If it's true, you realize what that means. What? What are you trying to tell me? Your father... He spent years in there. In total solitude. With the weight of his family and Rachel and its conscience. He, he wasn't the kind of guy to just let the past slide with a shrug. You know that too. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I can't believe you said something like that. Think about it. That room could be an act of love. Distorted, even morbid, but in his eyes... How dare you! My... My father might have had a lot of weaknesses, but surely what you're saying... Leave out that he cheated on my mom. Leave out that he fell in love with a 16-year-old, but f fucking hell, don't you dare even think that! I... He would never have built a fucking underground shrine for a dead person. Your father had changed in the end. You didn't spend time with him, but I met him, and... I'm telling you. No! I don't give a shit about what you have to say. I just want you to know that... Call only if you really want to help. Oh, no, My fuck. father doesn't deserve this bullshit, and nor do I. I uh, no, didn't see that I, did, I had, like, a very limited amount of time. And talking about limited amount of time, it's time to end this episode here. Yeah. It's a little bit weird to say, hope y'all have a happy ever, ever after, but I'll see you on the next tale.